Today we're going to discuss Aster Express and what you have to do to get started with Aster Express. Um, the topics covered for this video are what is Aster Express, how to download Aster Express, and tools and helpful hints on making your experience better. With that said, what is Aster Express? Aster is a, in the Aster Express environment is a fully functioning Aster environment. It allows you to get hands-on with using our analytical operators as well as the environment and, and getting to know the environment of Aster. Um, it is a kicking the tires uh, kind of experience that gives you a sampling of what Aster is and what it can do. Um, it's excellent for developers and testers as well, for people that may have an existing Aster environment in-house or in their, in their organization and just want to have their own environment where they can uh, kick the tires and get to know the, the environment and test out uh, functionality. It's not licensed for production use and I don't recommend that you use it for production use. Um, it is a set of easy to install VMware images. Um, the other good thing about it is that it is not time boxed, meaning that the Aster environment, the Aster Express environment will continue to run and uh, you know as long as you want it to. It will not uh, expire. Um, it only handles up to about 16 gig of uh, space or about you're going to need about 20 gigabytes of space on your disk drive. Um, it'll run on any standard PC as long as it supports these uh, these these uh, attributes here. 4 gigabytes of RAM, 20 gig of space on your hard drive, and you must have a 64-bit uh, CPU support. Um, it will support also any modern uh, Microsoft Windows operating system. Um, you will require a VM VMware player and also a 7-zip player. To download Aster Express, you basically go to Teradata.com. You go to My Teradata right here, and you click Teradata Aster Express. From there, you'll be taken to subsequent screens that will take you to the area where you download the actual Aster Express. There are two basic files. One is the actual Aster Express environment itself, and then a, a Express Getting Started guide. And this guide is excellent. It's an excellent resource for getting you through some of the installation processes. It's, it's fairly simple. Um, basically, it'll, you'll, it'll tell you what to do and the best approaches to getting things uh, going in your Aster environment. So I do recommend that you give this a good read before you get started. Another thing is, uh, this is my recommendation of some tools and software to make things a little easier. Um, I do recommend a VMware player. Um, you'll, you'll need that. Um, and there's a, a link below the, the actual um, product here, allows you to download it. The other good thing is that all these products listed here are completely uh, no cost, so it's free of charge. I do uh, also recommend 7-Zip, and you'll need that to unzip the Aster images, the VMware images. I do recommend a web browser, so you can use any one you know, of the popular ones that you want, you know, uh, Internet Explorer or Google Chrome, or but I prefer Firefox. I also recommend you use an FTP tool. Um, I Again, you can use any FTP tool you want. This will be help you with moving data in and out of Aster. Um, but I recommend Fire FTP. And then, of course, you'll need an SSH or a terminal-based software uh, product that allow you to log in to the env Aster environment through a terminal session. Um, again, this is free of cost. And then you also can have an optional query tool um, that's free of cost as well, Teradata Studio and this will help you to build objects and run queries and interrogate your data and do all those kinds of things. So I'm excited to see that you're considering looking at Aster Express and um, there will be subsequent videos to follow through and uh, you know with the rest of this. So uh, welcome aboard and we look forward to working with you. Take care.